From the handful of women looking to get noticed at the screening of Aces and Queens, only a handful can be picked and trained by a team of queen makers. Find out what our trainers are looking for and what it takes to be a real queen. I'm Laura Lehman and this is The Game of Crowns. The road to the crown happens now. After we had our screenings from the hundreds of applicants, we trimmed them, the girls, down to around 50. So thank you for coming, yung iba galing pa from alam ko galing pa ng Cebu. So definitely, ang daming pinanggalingan iba ibang lugar all over the Philippines. So we're thankful, we're grateful na dumating kayo. Today we were doing the first uh, day of their uh, training with Aces and Queens. We called it our orientation day. Sorry, we're a bit late. Because we have the ring So we have something to celebrate Celebrate this afternoon. Because we have the Win Win Marquez. So challenge to send you girls for next year. Well, ako kasi, syempre, I, I, I love the Philippines. This, I love my country. Siyempre, proud ako pag nananalo yung mga girls natin sa international budget. So at the end of the day, at the end of this orientation day, uh, we expect them not to at least be trust, trusting to us or the, we, we, we get their trust that we will provide them uh, and we will get them ready for the pageants. Introduce muna tayo bago natin umpisahan lahat. Of course, we will start with our advisors. Wala na senior. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Jerry Diaz here. Uh, we were all pageant enthusiasts. Every time it was Binibining Pilipina season, during the contest finals, we would see one another at, one, at the Araneta Coliseum. Everyone, all the members of Aces and Queens are all uh, full-time professionals. Before, we were just spectators until the time came when we had to scout our own girls. If this is your dream, go for it. Pursue it. Uh, it will open a lot of doors for you, girls. Jonas started fielding her own, his own girls. Tapos he directs says Evangelista, Jeffrey Heturian. I also fielded uh, my girl. This is Dima Marufa, also known as Art of Mercado. The general manager of Aces and Queens and in charge of personality development. Mama Rufa is a very big help to the team. Um, I would say he is the heart of the team. Kasi siya yung talagang tatakbuhan, iiyakan. So, tamang tama lang yung pangalan niyang Mama Rufa. He's really a mother to all the girls. Again, welcome to the orientation of uh, Aces and Queens. Tito Nad became the QA trainer. He's the smartest, I think, of the group. You need to have your own specialty kasi kung kami lahat, mahirap yon. When you start the training, I think everything in your mind, like your mind, your body, and your spirit, must be focused on the competition. Hello, good afternoon everyone. Um, so nice to see all of you here. And Mama J is a stickler for excellence. I think he is very uncompromising when it comes to that. And I always tell the girls, when it's time for the session of Mama J, don't miss that. Through the years in Aces and Queens, um, they always call me the terror, but I'm not. Actually, it's Mama Ru and Tito Nad now. Why the terror? <laughs> I've changed my ways. Like some artists, it can be very intense, but I think the girls should appreciate that. Expectations from me? Don't expect anything from me, I expect everything from you. Do your all. <laughs> Be always on the lookout of how you look and how you, um, your, your poise, how you project. It's very important. You have to be a keen observer to know everything that's going on around you, but don't be a fan. 
Be a fan of yourselves, okay? Don't be a fan of everybody. Oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, ang ganda niya. Natalo na ako. Ang mga pamit na ugal. How we distinguish aces and queens from others, I'm not saying that others are not the same, but I only can speak about aces and queens, is that we want our girls to be very classy, to be regal, to be the best Filipina that they can ever be. You always have to know who you are, so at least that's where we will try to um, bring out the best in all of you. Thank you. No question. Thank okay, you. No thank you. <laughs> Hello. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Trisha Bartolome Ocampo. I, I was born in America and raised here in the Philippines. I was a former contestant of Miss World Philippines 2017. Girls from the previous editions of uh, Binibini and Miss World Philippines who would like to join again this year. So we call them up. We will brief them of what we are expecting them from them and what they should expect from us. And we also the, all the modules and the programs that we will be offering them during the trainings. I really want to join Binibini Pilipinas and I know my hips don't lie. I am at <laughs> Yeah. I gained weight when I was in, when I took a vacation in the US. So I focus on losing weight right now and I really, 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 really want to join Binibini Pilipinas. So we're looking for girls for beauty pageants, then we're looking for somebody who looks pretty, who looks beautiful, and who is confident enough to be the best uh, version of herself. As the Q&A trainer, I'm looking for somebody who has uh, confidence in uh, talking. Hi, good afternoon everyone. I'm Lou Dominic Kibson. I'm 21 years old. Originally from Catalonia City, Samar, but I studied college in Cebu City. I belong in a household of four, and the only beauty queen. Um, I am a quarter Filipina, quarter Swedish, quarter Swiss, Finnish, and a quarter Spanish. How did you know? Did you measure your DNA? <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> okay. Eh, ano mo yung book mo? Ano ba yun? Para kong witch. Ano pa? I am looking for the overall package. Someone who can be a good um, example to other young women. Someone who can be a good model as well for runway, for fashion magazines. Somebody who can be a lot of things. Someone who can be a woman of substance and a woman that can carry herself in public very well. But it is work. So I think Miss World would be a, a good platform for me to share my interest in advocacy. And okay. what, what is it? Um, against oppression, those stigma against oppression, to fight them. Be kind of yourself. No, it, it's very close to my heart since I have an experience back when I was a child. So these guys in experience in the <laughs> and to add to that, of course, someone we're looking for someone who has a very good personality. She may be an uh, introvert, but she should adopt a personality that is fit to a beauty pageant. Because after all, she'll be a uh, public figure. Hello, good afternoon. I'm Trisha Martinez. I'm 19 years old and I'm currently taking up Doctor of Dental Medicine at the University of the East. Yes, I know I need to lose weight. I have a lot of things to improve, so I trust. Thank you for the I think first and foremost, there's got to be physical beauty. Beauty of face, figure, and height. So first, like what Jonas always says, first and foremost, it's still a beauty pageant. And then later on at the Q&A, late, later on at the walk and everything. So good afternoon, everyone. My name is Regine Garcia. And when I found out that I got in, and now in the orientation, I'm just 
willing to absorb everything, learning, um, gaining experience, improvement, and to be able to work with the best is an amazing opportunity. I would love to, but my age, I'm only 17, so I would like to gain more experience and improvement. But you're studying in Japan. Yes, I am. <laughs> so how will you do that? Um, that's something that I would probably discuss with my parents and you guys. Oh, I'm going to be my mom. If you really want to join the next year, so you know, you have to transfer or stop for a sim. So at the end of the day, at the end of this orientation day, uh, we expect them that we, we, we get their trust, that we will provide them, get them ready for the pageants. I think there are a lot of girls with uh, potentials. Um, I haven't joined any national pageants, any pageants at all. So I'm really excited. You have um, an idea which pageant you want to join? Yes, I am. I, I want to join the Olympic Why? Because I want. <laughs> <laughs> but as I see them today, they're still unprepared or they are still uh, what we call, as the cliche goes, diamonds in the rough. So I think they all need some bit of training that we will provide them. Hi, good afternoon. I am Andrea Asnis. I am currently grade 12 student at Lyceum of the Philippines University, Manila. Um, do you have any questions? Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> I have wait, so wait, many questions. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Kind of afraid or unsure of themselves, what they are entering into. But we are assuring them that we will provide them with all the necessary trainings that they need to be able to survive the rigors of a national pageant. I know quite to. I know what's happening. Sumali ka na dahil sa kanya. Hindi mo. Don't waste my time. So. Hi. Good afternoon. My name is Rona Eileen Arcilia. I'm 22. I'm from Cebu City. I'm a graduate of tourism management last year and I'm currently working in a travel agency servicing U.S. business travelers. Thank you. Well, we rent a um, condo unit for them, kung sino yung mga taga-provinces. We pay for it. Yung mga iba, kung walang allowance because they have to leave their jobs, then as much as possible, then we would also provide some allowance. Pero more or less, you are like, you want to sign Always, I don't cross the bridge when, ano, when you're going to get there. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. I'm going Sorry, I'm going to eat it. Huh? I'm going to join you. Hello, Mr. Ramon. Hi, Mr. Ramon. I'm Josie Fernandez, 18 years old. And I'm from the Golden City province of Leyte. Do you want to stay here now in Manila when we start the training? But if you enter the meeting, are you willing to take a leave in school? Oh, sure. No, but we're not encouraging that. Also, we also provide, especially those girls who come from the provinces, who has nothing to stay in while doing their trainings and during the competition here in Manila. So we will provide them with uh, a housing, so or an apartment that they can uh, uh, live in. You mga ano, you mga na they need an apartment here to stay in at least we would know the counts. Oh, nga. Kung pag-ilang tayo yung apartment. Chelsea, 
Because this is our passion. We do it for free. They don't pay us anything. Even if there are like um, gossips or rumors circulated by people who bash us, we are not paid to do this. Tagataklogan din po eh. Late day. Summer. Southern Okay, hi, I'm Muscle Dick Madera, and I'm 20 years old, and I'm from Southern Leyte. Try ka na next year? No, I'm turning 21. <laughs> but you're, you're not joining next year? Um, yeah, because I think I'm not yet ready. I want to uh, gain more experience. Okay. And <laughs> Oh, I'm not sure. 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 I'm not uh, they're all for free and we provide all our trainings for free so they are so lucky to have uh, to be in the Aces and Queens training pool. Hello, good afternoon everyone. I'm Rosa Resignacio, 23 years old from Cainitanizan. I am a certified public accountant and is working wow. in one of the top auditing firms in the Philippines, CC Forest Reliant and Company. Well, I haven't joined any national pageant yet, and this is my first time to try a national pageant. Thank you. Sorry, close hand. Yes. How old are you now? 23. And you're still studying or working? I'm working. Okay. I'm CD, no? Sorry. Okay, kasi kasi ko yung 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 <laughs> From the trainings, of course, we will do personality development, uh, poise and posture, plus walking and power trainings, fitness trainings, the Q&A trainings, makeup and hairstyling trainings. Our main goal is for them to win. And if they win, we are there to guide them as well. The framework of course is there, that's why I'm there. I haven't oh, joined any national pageant yet, uh, but I used to um, join Mascara Queen, mm -hmm. uh, which I was first trainer of last 2014. So you're from Bacolod? Yes, I'm from Bacolod. Ria, uh, this is your supposed to be screening, correct? Yes. Because we have, you haven't uh, gone to any screenings before. Okay, so we're not saying naman that you're not qualified. Just to be fair naman with the other girls, kasi dumaan sila sa screening. Hindi yung ngayon ka na dumating, during the orientation, tapos automatic, ano ka na, pasok ka na sa, sa tool. Okay? Halika dito. Halika dito. Kailangan na ng matitigil. Ng malapitan. Lahat lang ano. Ano ko this year? I'm just... Ay! 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 For now. What we need from them is number one, their trust. Their, number two, their dedication and commitment to the trainings. Again, as I said, we give the trainings for free, so we just expect them to give them to give the, their one hundred percent. Uh, dedication and commitment to the trainings. Just appear to the, to the tra in the trainings. Magpakita lang sila and pakita nila na yung puso nila is into this. The, the, that's the very first thing we require from them. That they, their heart and their mind and their uh, physical body is uh, dedicated and ready for the trainings. I am Filipino Nigerian. I stand six feet tall without heels. Uh, Mali pala ako sa Nigeria. Nigeria yung pala. Sounds like. Yeah. Oh. 
Oh, bakit nung malaki ka? Kaya nga, Pearl. Kaya nga. Ano naman, Pearl? Oh, the last time we talked, diba? One year in the making oh. na yan. In Eastern Queens, I was actually from last year's batch. So last year, we also had this assessment for, like your body. They're gonna look at you. What do you have to improve? What do you have to lose to gain? Uh, last year, I was told that I was still big. And from now, I didn't lose much. So I really have to push forward. Six months ago, I've been improving uh, with my body because I'm going to the gym like two times a day. And I can say that I'm beginning to be more disciplined in what I eat and whatever I put inside my mouth. John Kuei. Ano to? Hindi na daw siya kumakain, nag-exercise siya. So, regarding the build up of my body that I have because of my genes, you know, I'm, I'm half black. So, I, 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 it's normal for me to have wide hips, whatever, like uh, breasts. Mm. For me, I can still work out to the point that uh, they find me that I am already fit for Binibining Filipinas. So, I will do my best to work until I achieve what, what my body can achieve. Pagpapalik <laughs> 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 Hi everyone, I'm Keisha Chua. I'm turning 25 in two days. Of course, excited since um, alam ko na we've been already chosen as the official, like not candidates, but official batch for 2018. And since it's the orientation, you're gonna know more about what's gonna happen. So if you're in Aces and Queens, are you going to follow the walk that I want? Yes. <laughs> So parang hindi normally you would see that in local pageant. But internationally you can see someone walking like that. So it has to improve. I've seen that for three years already from her. So Actually I'm excited because ever since I was in college I already know most of them from ACES because um, since I was in college, um, some of them, especially Mama Jay, already approached me and asked me that after I finished my studies, if I'd be willing to join the team. Then you realize that there's more to life than just what's in, inside your box. So that's when you realize that I... <laughs> um, nervous, of course, is the Q&A training because that's, uh, that's the part of the pageant that's, that's really gonna make you or break you. Thank you. Thank you, Maria. Well, the best student, you would say, would be like someone who started from scratch and then learned a lot. Like Shamsi and Janine Tugonon. As in super. And Pia, the three of them. They never had experiences in beauty pageants. Because more than the beauty of Pia, I think, it's her determination. I saw her through the three years that she trained. Bye, everyone. Thank you, girls. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Mommy, daddy, chicos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. As Aces and Queens picks their new batch of trainees, it's up to these girls if they're ready to give all they've got to claim that crown. Are they ready to face the realities of training for a pageant? Tune in next week to find out. I'm Lara Lehman. See you next time on Game of Crowns.